Welcome to the video, everybody. Believe it or not, I have found another source for bags, but I don't think there's going to be any silver or sterling because none of the jewelry they had out was silver or sterling. And these appear to be some of the things they may have had out that didn't sell. And then when I bought it, it's a little antique mall between my city and the next city, so it's about 15 minutes away. And these were $5 each. That tag is just for whatever piece of jewelry that is. Um, and um, I think I'm going to open this one. It looks like it has some stones in it. But anyway, $5 each, and then the... Uh, the lady at the desk said when I was paying, she said, wait a minute, the jewelry bag lady is here. And I said, you want me to go ask her if she's going to have any more bags? Because, of course, I bought all that she had. And I said, yes. And so she said, she went back there and then she said, uh, there's some interesting little designs in here. Let's do this one. Forget what her booth is called. It says SNS, but that just doesn't sound right. Oh yeah, there it is. Bullets and butterflies. You know you're in East Texas when you've got um, she has like the whole booth is full of I didn't see any, you know, like it's jewelry, but it's not um, precious metal or anything. So anyway, the lady said, yeah, she's going to, uh, she said come back in a week or two, and she's going to have some more put out. So I may go out there. That was a, a little while ago. Okay, those are pretty nice little earrings, kind of brass and copper colored. And, I mean, she works hard, look, you know, making this little paper and stamping it, and these are plastic. So we have some shell in here. I mean, it's not junk, you know. It's all wearable, which I appreciate. not sure if this is shell or not but I think it is and uh, the black may be a stone and the green is not the green is like a sort of like a ceramic piece but a little clay piece see they're irregular this is what that one looks like it's kind of pretty, really. I haven't seen one like that before. This one has a little hang tag made with love. Made with love. Is that the name of it? I guess so. Well, I'll look that up. These are shells. Very light. I almost thought they were seeds at first. Very, very light. Okay, we've got a little tangle like we always do. This one, uh, she had marked it down from $5.99 to $2.50. It's just, uh, I don't even know if this is metal. I think it is, but it's very light.
and um, of course it's wrapped around this other one that I mean this thing is huge this other one I just feel like getting it off tonight. I don't, I want to see this other one without all this tangle on here. Okay. There we go. That's not bad. This is just not laying right because I think it was the clasp was closed before it was straightened out correctly. I don't see a maker's mark, but anyway. It's not bad, really. This was a, what I was interested in, and that's some kind of a stone. So it's a nice bracelet that is memory wire. Anybody can wear it. But I, some of that is snowflake obsidian, the small ones. But the large ones are different. I don't know what that is. And then you've got like a glass or a crystal and hematite. If anybody knows what these grayish white ones are, that's a nice bracelet. This one, I guess this is the dyed halite again. And the white stone looks like some kind of a, maybe a landscape jasper cut up or something. I don't know. It's not a halite, the white stone. That's a pretty nice little bracelet, don't y'all think? It's sort of stretchy, but not really. It's good quality because it's not going to get loose. I like that. There's a good shot of that um, other stone there. All right, then a plasticky bangle. These are kind of discolored. They'll go in the craft thing. That has an R on it. It's kind of cute if your initial is R. And then these matching earrings. I might go back out there and see. You know, I just love the jewelry bags. What can I say? Which one are we going to do? We'll do one more. There was one that had an interesting little piece. But I think I'm going to do a smaller one. Is it this one? Let's just do this one. She wraps it so nice and cute. You know. But I was like, ooh, the jewelry bag lady, you know. That's such a mysterious person. That's a nice piece of cloth here. Five dollars for this bag. I like to cut them open. It's too hard to mess with the top part. So here we go. Let's see. It's interesting when there's bags within bags. She wanted two dollars for this. This looks pretty. Oh, 
Those are some pretty colors. Um, I almost thought it was Christmas, but no, it's not. It's an interesting design. That's nice. Little St. Patrick's Day charm or Irish thing, stretchy. This is very light, like an aluminum. $350 for the bracelet. Uh, it may have a name on it. I mean, they're not worn or anything. That's just super light. see what it says I'm upside down oh Germany that's a surprise I do like like older pieces this is not an older piece but isn't that pretty that's nice This is um, quite a lot of gold toned. Don't see a name. It's um, all wound up, but I think this is the tassel somehow and this is how it hangs it would be nice when it's unwound it's it's pretty 199 oh that's cute it's not silver but um Peter or something maybe and then there's a little girl little girl and her cat these are stones I believe or it could be glass yeah I think it's maybe glass really pretty I'm trying to see how it I guess it's stretchy it's kind of small $3.99 marked down to two, and then it goes in the jewelry bag. That's a nice bracelet. Don't see a name. Kind of dressy. It looks like Claire's, but let me just, yeah, Claire's needs to be un, untangled. of a sterling but there are no marks I guess it goes like this kind of nice this is a, a shell I believe let me just double check this lobster claw no you can tell it has a gunmetal kind of a gun I call it gunmetal color. I don't know what gunmetal looks like, but I saw that name somewhere and it was like 
kind of a steel gray. Mark down to a dollar. And here's a couple of big loopy earrings. So what's nice about her is she doesn't separate anything. She just puts it, gives you some wearable. I'm gonna have to work on that. It's stuck in there pretty good. Anyway, those are kind of nice. They are sparkly. And then the necklace. It's a nice design. Look at that. Copper colored. It may even be copper. Betty, we're using you for copper now. Yeah, I believe it is copper. Now the chain is not. The chain is just copper colored. You've got uh, gold is the top of the line metal. Silver. Well, I don't know about platinum and all that. But anyway, in my world, it's gold, silver, uh, copper, and then brass. I like that. I keep holding it up, I guess, because I like it. I held it up there. She wanted $2 for these. Boy, it's the end of a long week, uh, working hard, and uh, my pulmonologist, I went to a new one because I have asthma, and he's changing my medicine, so my voice is kind of scratchy more than usual, but I have hope that we may, wait a minute, no. Yes, these are 925. I didn't think she had anything out there 925. I know some of y'all were like, I see a mark, I see a mark. I can hear y'all. <laughs> I can hear y'all. The other one does not have the little earring back, but Treasure chest. Oh, well, look at me. I didn't even care what the front looked like. What is that? XL? What is the XL? This is just over my pay grade. I don't, I don't know about that. I know that's not anybody's initials. Only XL I know is clothing size. Okay, silver, silver. Shelly, we'll give you silver. You in it? Oh, wait, Shelly, I'm sorry. Shelly's like, man. There you go, Shelly. Shelly likes gemstones. She doesn't care if they're precious or semi precious. And um, if you're new to the channel, Billy Bob likes gold. He's a cool dude, and he always says it's on its way. Right, Billy Bob? And Sheila, she loves her rings. This is a cute little charm bracelet. Uh, some more letters, W-H, and then a lighthouse, and a merry-go-round horse. It might be nice if I focused it back in. There we go. That's cute. Uh, tomorrow is the first, and I will be relisting or listing a bunch of my jewelry again, the bags and the single. I think I have some more single earrings. I'm not sure. Gotta make sure we don't have little tiny pieces of turquoise. I think they're glass. I don't see a mark anywhere. Okay.
All right, another interesting necklace with carved. This is, it's either plastic. I don't think it's bone, but I don't know. How do you tell? I think it might be bone. It has some unevenness to it. That this kind of looks like the edge of a chicken bone. It's got some lines in it, like. But I don't know. And then these are little beads. They're blue glass. Well, wow, that's really pretty under magnification. They are blue glass with the kind of a cream ivory, fake ivory, cream bone colored beads and then the silver tone little, um, they're not bells, but that's nice. I like that. This is like, I was gonna say it should be in the trash, but you know, somebody could maybe, your kid could play with that. I'll probably take that to the park and put that in there with the books. Oh wait, we have a mark, I believe. Wait, no, it's just, oh no, it's just wear on the clasp right there. Boy, that tricked me. Anyway, we'll end with the faux pearl strand. It's not a bad color. It's got some pretty little, like, uh, pinkish in between there. So there we go. I think we did two of them. That was $10. Um, best thing out of it was this here. And then, of course, we did get some silver. And we got a bracelet from Germany. Thanks for watching, everybody, and joining us. And we'll see you next time.